So I just got to spend the last couple hours playing a beta for the game, the first Descendant that is now on Xbox Series X. But I believe this thing is also on PlayStation as well as PC. And I've been seeing trailers over the past couple months about this game. And it looked like something that I was very much interested in. The gunplay looked really good from the trailers. The graphic design looked really good. It looked metal. It looked sexy. It looked hot. It was definitely something that caught my eye. And I wanted to just try this thing out. So I noticed that the beta was now available on Xbox Series X. So I downloaded it and gave it a try. And I really enjoyed what I played so far. Only playing about two, maybe three hours. So this is just... A first impressions video this isn't a full-on review i don't even think the full game is even available this is just still in the beta phase now there is some graphic glitches that go on like there's this isn't like a perfect beta by any means there is some graphic glitches but overall i think the visuals and graphics look phenomenal in this game you can pick between three different characters when you first start the game. Of course, I went with the hot, sexy female character that has ice abilities. And then I started playing through the game, started getting used to the mechanics and trying to get into this storyline that they're trying to tell the player. And I was really enjoying everything. And then when we got to a certain point, I realized what type of game this was. I had no idea that this was going to be a free to play game later on. I thought maybe this was just a beta for a game that's going to be coming out that's full price of $70 but it's going to be a free-to-play game and the best way i can compare this thing to is it reminds me a lot of destiny now that might some turn some people off and whatnot but i think it's really really dope to have a third person shooter like destiny that has a really complex story and a lot of world building in it and i like the fact that you can pick different descendants as you go throughout the game you can pick these different characters you have like the big beefy warhammer dudes you have the hot sexy girls with the guns and this is all developed over in korea so of course they always try to keep that very sexy feminine style to their female characters which i think is really lacking here over in the united states like no longer does game developers want to have our characters looking hot and sexy they want everything to be super realistic and that's unfortunate so i like the fact that they said korea is still doing that and a lot of these overseas developers are still making sure that the game is appealing sex does appeal when you have stuff like guns and and you're killing aliens and robots and you have these sexy girls that you can play as doing it it kind of gives it more of a eye candy feature to the game and that's something i i personally really appreciate i did play a few missions right out the gate and yes it, it does have that destiny warframe feel i can never get into warframe personally i never understood what the story was i, I played warframe when it very first came out on the xbox and i just couldn't get into it but this the storyline is easier to follow there is cutscenes you do missions it's the normal type mission that you would expect if you ever played destiny or warframe but when you get past those missions you actually get into the, the heart and story of the game and i like that it's a open world like mmo atmosphere so i can have friends come on and jump in and play the game with me and i'm really liking the game for what i'm playing so far it's very very complicated and all the different mods and upgrades that you can do because there's several different guns there's several different mods for the gun no doubt when the free-to-play game comes out that's where you're going to be paying most of your microtransactions to upgrade your equipment and guns and skins and so on and so forth but that is very much to be expected when it comes to a free-to-play game this is nothing different than you would see from games like Genshin Impact and other games like that nature. When you have games that are free to play, the companies and developers have to make their money somewhere. So they make it on weapon skins, character skins, characters that you can play as, weapon mods, and so on and so forth. And that doesn't bother me because if I want to just jump in the game, play for a couple hours, I'm not going to just spend a whole bunch of money on the game. You know, I'm just going to play it for fun. I really don't have anything going on right now finish starfield i'm waiting for spider-man 2 and in the meantime i'm trying to figure out what can i play to pass time and like i said the trailer for first descendant has really just kind of like caught my eye and i wanted to know more about this game so it was fun you know spending the, the afternoon just kind of playing through the game and just seeing what it's all about and so far i'm thoroughly enjoying it that's just my thoughts i wonder what you guys think are you interested in playing the first descendant will you be giving a download will you be trying the beta or is it something you're just going to skip entirely leave those comments in the comment box below and until next time as always i'm robert storms and thank you for watching